Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium, oracle, and a prophetess. So if you are new here, welcome in my loves. We are a high vibe tribe around here and a pillar of light channel. I hope that all of you guys are doing amazing today. I send love and light to you, to your loved ones. Ooh, you already got these cards wanting to talk. Um, anyway, so let's just get right into the message, right? You guys have already seen the title. Um, you know, I don't know everything that's going to come out in this message today, but I will tell you what's coming through, like the message that came through, uh, the download that came through. It was, um, that the masculine's higher self, right? The, the divine masculine's higher self has been literally, uh, blocking, um, the divine masculine from coming forward. Now, what I, what I mean by that is the higher self was saying like, no, you can't, it's not time, right? Like the higher self, you know? So even when they weren't coming forward, they were listening to their higher self, right? Um, you know, it, it, and I might be guilty of it, of misconstruing in past readings, I don't know. Um, but you know, maybe other readers too, but like they're not, just because they're not coming forward or they're still in a, you know, karmic situation or they don't reach out, that doesn't mean that they're, you know, completely like just cut off, not listening to their higher self and like out of alignment like that, right? They are awoken. They are like, they're tuned in, right? Um, so they were listening. They were listening to their higher self, to their intuition, to their, to their guides. Um, but I will say this, that, you know, the divine masculines, um, you know, they've had moments where obviously the ego gets involved or whatever takes over and they wanted to reach out to you. Like there was moments where they have come so close to pressing the send button or just picking up the phone and giving you a call. Um, you know, I, I think that for a lot of you guys, they wanna to talk to you like face to face or like, you know, on the phone at least to hear your voice and to connect like that. But I think that the first initial contact is gonna be like a message because they wanna, they want to know, they want to see, right? So anyways, so the higher self has been guiding them to not reach out to you because it wasn't time, okay? But they knew that like eventually they would get there. They knew that eventually they, 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 there would be a conversation, okay? There was this inner knowing, just like the inner knowing of there's unfinished business, we still are connected, you know? Um, this is a, a, a very you know, beautiful soulmate, you know, this is like the love of my life, like all those, all those things, right? So deep inner knowing of that. And also that, you know, that it wasn't over between you guys, right? Like in that sense. Um, but your guides, your guides have been, um, well, both of your guys' spirit guides, actually. They have been blocking as well. Like they've been protecting the feminine energy from the masculine too. Like, no, you can't come in yet. Like, no, it's not time. You know what I mean? Um, but what I'm what I'm specifically receiving in the why and the reason why this is coming through and so important is because there is permission. There is permission. There is no longer the block. There is no longer that block. Okay. Now, and what I'm receiving is that it's these these divine masculines have gotten they have gotten to a frequency, um, they're connecting in a way where it's like, it's like the ancestors and spirit and, uh, you know, the angels and the higher selves and stuff. They, it's basically like an energy of, of they trust the masculine now. They see that the masculine really has learned these lessons so they can, you know, so they can kind of, you know, they don't have to intervene because they're now making the correct decisions in their choice. I mean, decisions in their life. They're, they're seeing things clearly, you know, it's, it's like that. Okay. So might sound a little weird, but it's, it's what's coming through and it's the best way that I can put it into words as to what I'm like receiving and feeling and stuff. Okay. Um, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm going to just got my hair and my gum. I'm going to use a the archetype oracle today but it's like the wild unknown archetype oracle um by kim crowns okay so i'm gonna get the archetype energy around the divine masculine 
uh, their 3D, their 3D life right now. Um, I'm hearing the word shambles. It's in shambles. Okay. And this is a consistent energy that we, we keep seeing uh, a lot of, you know, they're, they've been on this roller coaster ride and they've been for many of them in toxic, you know, cycles with people or themselves for some time, you know, it's, it's long overdue. Communication is long overdue. There's a really big energy of communication. But there's no more, there's nothing blocking this anymore. Okay. See the mirror, your, your twin mirror, your twin soul. For those of you guys who are twin flames, they are reflecting back to you that which you are. All right. It's that energy, the temple. Okay. So this is like the home the temple, because I'm asking for their 3D environment, like what's going on, you know, in, in the 3D right now with them. They're in a prayer, okay, the temple. The temple is like, you know, like a church energy or, you know, sacred temples where, you know, we used to go to, um, you know, or just whatever, it's a sacred, it's a sacred space, right? For, uh, for ritual, for connecting, for meditation, um, you know, for prayer, for, you know, all this stuff. Um, so they are, Right now in their 3D, uh, which is actually beautiful because in a lot of ways, it shows the integration of the 5D um, into the 3D. They are praying for, for, for wisdom. They are praying for guidance. They are praying for, you know, the right words. They're praying for um, just more insight, you know. They're, they're, they're praying that this is not over, you know, even though they intuitively feel just like the feminine, that it's not, you know, that some, there's, there, it's still there between us. That there's something there and it's not in the sense of like, you know, when exes break up and stuff and you're like, <laughs> you know, you may circle back in the past to an ex or something here and there. And, and it's like, you know, I know you still have feelings for me. It's not 3D in that way. It's much more than that. It's a soul connection, right? So they feel that there's something there, meaning the energetic cord between the two of you guys that is a destined cord that binds you guys, ties you guys together, okay? Um, and they have always felt that energy cord with you, no matter what, no matter what they've done, who they've, you know, if they went back to a wife, to a, if they, you know, had a girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever, right? It doesn't matter. They they loved you. Like they loved you. They felt you the whole time. They felt you the whole time, feminine. So this is a moment of of prayer, but it also for me shows that, you know, look at the, the green and the yellow, you know. Their heart, I'm hearing the heart is on fire. The heart is on fire, but like their heart is is yearning and burning for their divine feminine, for that higher love in their life. They are ready to experience higher love, right? Bring me the higher love. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. And then I heard, um, a song and I'm hearing it again right now because I'm talking about it, but I thought for a moment, oh God, I'm not gonna be able to remember it, but nope, came right through. So let me get it out before, <laughs> before I forget or Mercury screws me up like it always does. Um, Melissa Etheridge, come to my window, crawl inside, Way by the light of the moon. Right? Isn't it something like that? And then I also heard, it was another song by, I believe it was Melissa Etheridge, but it's that song, I don't care what they say. They don't know a thing about this love anyway. That, okay. Okay, so maybe it's the same song. Maybe it's the same song. Yeah, it is. I think it is. It is. It is the same song, I believe. Um, so anyway, so I haven't thought of or heard Melissa Etheridge in like, I don't know, probably since I was a child because my mom had, I remember my mom had a Melissa Etheridge CD. Um, but it's not someone that I listen to. It's not someone that I, you know, have in my, my iPod or whatever. So when I get these songs as downloads, it's telepathy. It's, and I'm getting chills at my left side, which is the feminine side. 
which is the receiving side. So when I receive these messages like that, that's exactly what it is. It's telepathy. It's, it's a telepathic message from the divine masculines. Mm -hmm. So they're hoping, you know, when they come in and show up, right, that you're like, you know, come inside. We'll, we'll wait, you know, by the light of the moon or whatever, you know, that at least that's what I'm saying. Okay, so they are so ready to be in contact with you. Um, I'm getting tidying up. Yeah, they are they are really um, in this very intense mode of tidying up, cleaning up their lives right now, okay? Um, another thing that I keep getting is that they're very protective. The warrior archetype, the warrior archetype in the divine masculines, the emperor is coming through like crazy at this time. They are so protective of the divine feminine, their, their, their goddess, their angel, their, their beloved heavenly wife, you know, um, or husband, whatever, you know, depending on, right. Um, I'm getting a, a download in my right my right ear. Um, and when, when sometimes when this happens, it's because I'm receiving information during a reading. Like I just got done a little while ago recording an Akashic reading for a client and I received massive ear angels um, in one particular very intense moment of her Akashic reading. Um, and it was confirmation of that, you know, of what I was, what was coming through, what, what I was channeling. Um, You know, and the fact that I'm getting like Melissa Etheridge and like I said, I haven't heard or even thought of Melissa Etheridge, like, right? Like since, like I said, probably childhood, honestly, um, that's a connection, right? Because I'm speaking of childhood, inner child, um, Melissa Etheridge to me, like hearing that song and, and having that song come through, that's nostalgic to me. You know, it reminds me of the, of those days of my mom when she was younger, like, you know, cleaning the house with, with her music on and like, you know, vacuuming and me dancing around and like, you know, and that's what I'm getting here is the divine masculines are really connecting with their, with their soul, with their right inner child, all of that at this point. And there is this nostalgia, you know, there is this coming back, obviously coming home feeling but you feel just like it's a good memory like you're you, you know like how you like that like you think of a good memory and it just it fills you up with love and joy and warmth and you know all these things that's what you are for them that's what they are feeling towards you you know you are you are the melissa etheridge song uh, to the divine masculine's inner child you know it's like that very beautiful these readings the past like you know few days week they're they're really beautiful the creator and the riddle bottom of the deck the kiss okay so i'm actually going to read now obviously the creator is pretty that's pretty self explanatory it's got a paintbrush it's about being the creator of your own reality okay we have the colors of the rainbow you know again i'm getting like the rainbow right so um the rainbow is, you know, faith. It's, it's, it's divine intervention. It's serendipitous. It's destined energy, you know, all of that. Right. So, um, and I do feel, I feel that the divine masculines speaking of rainbows, I feel that a lot of you guys recently have seen and witnessed rainbows. Okay. And I believe they have too. I believe they recently saw a rainbow or they're about to see a rainbow in the sky or, or, or somewhere, you know, and for them, they know that it's um, a sign. They know that it's a confirmation from the universe, from God, from, you know, about you. And it reminds them of you. You know, you are this beautiful, colorful, you know, magical uh, person and, and, and being to them. You are the rainbow of their life. You know, you're the light of their, of their life. You're, you know, everything to this person. Just like, you know, you are, you feel towards them. It's, it's this unconditional, just 
infinite, never-ending, like, healing, like, love. And, um, again, it is nothing like either of you have ever encountered, right? This is, for them, like they're living in a movie. Like, like, like it, it does feel like that to them. Like, you know, like a, like a movie, like a, rom like a romantic movie or something very beautiful, you know? where there's this, you know, love story. It's like the notebook or something, you know, where there's this love story and they're just like, this is like my life. They're like, this is actually happening, you know? And that's what they've actually kind of struggled with is is the, 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 the way that this feels so surreal and magical and all of that, right? Well, thank you to them, uh, you know, to their, to their ascension and healing, okay? Um, they are now, it's like, you know, do you believe in magic? Yeah, they're like, yeah, I do believe in magic. You know, and I think that for a lot of you guys, Divine Feminines, you know, they have kept an eye on you. They've watched you. And I know for a fact, because a lot of you guys are, you know, you leave comments and I love reading the comments and then, you know, or, you know, you'll you'll share with me through there or a lot of you guys are, are clients of mine, you know, so I know um, you guys are, reflecting outwardly in your reality that which you are within okay so you are exhibiting and and showing up every day as the priestess as this like magical like you know being right and that was a big block for them before for a lot of you guys you know and then of course you know, then there's the triggers and all that. But I just think that your spirituality, your spiritual side, um, your frequency, everything, it was like, it was too much, right? It was too much for them because they were still very much, you know, even though they had been awoken, right? Like if it's a twin, you guys awaken each other. Like even if, if, if the feminine is already like on the healing, uh, journey of ascension and all that, it, it, it opens her up in, in ways that you can never even imagine, right? Well, you can't, but <laughs> to, to those who don't know, it's, it's crazy, right? Um, and they are just slower to the punch. They are just, you know, it's like someone who tells a joke and, you know, everyone laughs and then someone in the group laughs like three minutes later. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, joke was like way over, you know, but you know, and that's just like a funny example, but it's the truth, honestly, because that's how it is. Like I said, they, they were just slow to the punch, you know? Um, all right. I want to just see the riddle. I mean, I, I know the energies of it, but, and this, these books, they like, let me see the table of contents. This one and then the other one um, that I have by by her that's like this. Um, it's like the elements and stuff. Uh, it's all in like sections and like categories and you know, so it's not like you can just roll through and like find like the numbers in alphabetical order or whatever, you know. <laughs> or was it the riddle? Okay, the riddle. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Come to my window. Crawl inside, wait by the light of the moon. Am I like, I'm, I, I'm obviously missing it, but plus this is really small writing and um, I do wear glasses. Oh, it's right there. Right in front of my face. Okay, 171. All right, so the riddle. Oh my God, you guys, literally, I opened it on accident right to the riddle. I love when this stuff happens. Page 171, seven plus, one plus seven plus one is nine, right? This is, uh, this is the end. <laughs> they are closing out this cycle here. It just keeps coming through so strongly, okay? They feel and kind of know, which is why the whole like, the higher self and like the blocking and all that came through the way that it did because they feel, they feel the spiritual green flag. They know that it's go time. Whereas before there was this, like I said, 
holding back. You know, I would I would bet money that for for some of you guys or a lot of you guys actually at some point, you know, when when this union when you guys come into physical union again, <laughs> um that it's that you guys have conversations, right? You guys are going to have conversations about all of this stuff, about everything, about you know, the the synchronicities that you both were receiving, the the numbers, the songs, the you know, and you guys are going to be comparing notes of the timelines and, you know, you guys are both going to give each other beautiful confirmations of all of the magic that was taking place in both of your lives separately in different places, right? Like you guys were both getting it and it just shows, right? You feminine, you already know, but even so it's going to be so just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. Um, and for them too, but it's going to show the masculines like not, you know, again, they are in this stage of like believing in, uh, I'm hearing this stuff. <laughs> that sounds like a masculine thing to say, you know, this stuff, you know, all the spiritual stuff, you know, but, um, but no, they're, they're, they full on are like connecting, you know, and, but you know, there's going to be some skepticism still, you know, for sure. in some of the masculines like, you know, but for the most part, yeah, they're, they're there. Um, so you don't remember what I was saying that, but anyways, okay. So the riddle, the puzzle, the question and the mystery. Okay. And this card right here, when it has healed the shadow aspect of it and it's in its light form means a great awakening or an aha moment. Oh my gosh. Okay, when when this energy is in its dark shadow, there's manipulation, deceit, and trickery. Okay, like the Riddler. Okay, like the, the what, what was on Batman? The Riddler, or I think that was his name, right? In like the green suit with all the question marks. Anyways, he was one of the, like one of the bad guys, right? Him and the Joker and the Penguin and, you know. Anyways. Uh, and I remember in the one movie with, with the Riddler or whoever, if that's his name, I want to say the Riddler. I think it is Jim Carrey, I believe played the Riddler. Anyways, it says when the, when the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found. And ultimately it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical from the literal, meaning the logical to the metaphorical, meaning the spiritual the, 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 the five D the unseen, the mystery. So this is confirmation again of what I just got done talking about, about how they now are connecting to the magic, to the, to the soul side, to the five D side, the quantum side of this connection of everything. They're really feeling this, you guys. It's like, they want to, I'm getting like, you know, like when you first start awakening and you're just so, and you know, and you're just, you're so thirsty. You're, you're just so like, like a sponge. You want to just learn everything and you don't know where to start. And you're just like, ah, you know, but you just go, you know, you just absorb and you just keep going and wanting and, you know, um, because you're so like, oh my God, I knew that like, I knew there was more to this. Like I knew it, you know, cause we always have that inner knowing, right? Same thing for the divine masculine, you know, but they're experiencing it themselves and the universe has not stopped showing them synchronicity after synchronicity after synchronicity sign after sign after sign song after song you know conversation whatever it is you know you know how iphone how iphones um and <laughs> my phone i'm using my phone never mind um how the iphone you know the newer iphones they have like the picture memories all right on this day you know and whatever and then they even make like videos right with like they'll add music to it and stuff like all on their own you know in your you know in your albums or whatever for like memories or for like you know if you went somewhere or stuff like that that kind of stuff is what is showing up for them like crazy everything things like that you know um i mean i that's something that came to my mind because that's literally something that is consistently happened with me so 
you know, and I know I'm not alone out there because I know I can hear and I'm, I'm seeing like you guys be like, yeah, I know exactly what she's talking about. Um, but anyway, so they're receiving all this magic. Okay. And they're shifting from the literal to the metaphorical, from the logic to the mythic. Oh my God. I should have just kept reading. <laughs> you are thinking too small and literally about the situation. The riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom in a Zen Quan. Focusing harder won't do it. Neither will increased effort. Time, surrender, and humor are your only allies. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. Eventually, you'll learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may, in fact, be the only reality there is. So again, that stuff's going out the door. Okay, I wanna, where are we at, 25 minutes? Okay, I wanna read the, the kiss real quick. There's the dead end. That's, that's where they, that's where they, you know, they, they've reached the dead end on a dead end road, you know? They've been driving down this road for a while and they finally reached the end. This is the end, <laughs> my only. Okay, so, all right, so the kiss. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was right. Okay. I had a feeling it was going to be in the same section that this one was. Why? Oh, much better. My, my lighting was down. I don't know why it does that. It goes, I don't know how it goes down by itself. But anyways, okay. So the kiss, okay. Bottom of the deck, right? The touch, the chemistry, the sex. My last reading i just got chills again on my left side again the feminine side receiving side look at the hands being held within the moon or whatever that is <laughs> i don't know could be venus kind of looks like that and it's like the energy of that i don't know we'll see if it says anything in here but for me it's like you know a crescent moon inside of a you know Write down the story of your first kiss. What was what what was changed in that moment? See, again, with the nostalgic energy. Very nostalgic here, right? Okay. When this is in its light form, it's sensual. It, it, oh my gosh. Blah, blah, blah. Mercury retrograde. Sensual expressiveness. Sensual expressiveness. Merging. Inviting. You see, they are getting ready to reach out a hand to you. There's also something, I mean, your guys' touch, the skin, the um, the prints on your hand, just like the eyes and um, for me, the lips, the mouth and, and connecting in this way, it was super activating for the both of you guys, right? Um, not only do they long to feel your touch, but there's something very specific about nostalgic memories, remembering of holding your hand, holding your hand. They felt this surge of energy, of love, of emotion, of all these things when they held your hand when you guys were holding hands, when you guys were touching hands, also just in general, your touch, okay? But specifically with the hand holding, okay? When this is dark, it's neediness, pressure, dominance, and disrespect, okay? So before I first kiss, the air is electrified. Wow, I just talked of a surge of like energy, right? Each breath is alive with possibility and magic. What will their lips be like? Their tongue? Do they want me in return? The archetypal energy of the kiss is a heightened sensation of merging with other, of letting in what was moments ago separate. Two became one. No, two become one. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is, wow. Beautiful confirmation here. Beautiful confirmation. It is risky, but beautiful business. <laughs> the, 
These moments forever change us as we move past the solitary self toward union and acceptance. This card suggests true intimacy is around the corner, which requires bravery and surrender. When the kiss takes a non-human form, it may be experienced as touching the sacred, hearing a whisper, or being graced by a divine being. You will recognize the presence of the kiss by cold chills and an awakening of the heart. This whole, this whole reading, right? I've been getting the chills, more so than normal. Yes, I get them all the time for confirmation. I receive confirmation in a lot of ways through, through the physical, but specifically only on the feminine side. And the feminine is the empress receiving the divine masculine counterpart, the emperor. This, you guys, is blowing my mind. This is blowing my mind. This, this stuff right now. Okay. I'm just going to read through that really quickly one more time. Okay. Because I, I kept interrupting <laughs> because I mean, oh my gosh, this is just so cool. The archetypal energy of the kiss is a heightened sensation of merging with the other, of letting in what was moments ago separate to become one. It is risky, but beautiful business. These moments forever change us as we move past the solitary self toward union and acceptance. This card suggests true intimacy is around the corner, which requires bravery and surrender. When the kiss takes a non-human form, it may be experienced as touching the sacred, hearing a whisper, or being graced by a divine being. You will recognize the presence of the kiss by cold chills and an awakening of the heart. Mic drop. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, and this is what they're creating. This is what they're envisioning. I'm hearing visionary, visionary. This is what they're envisioning. This is what they're creating. This is what they want to paint into their reality. They have realized, I, I am the creator. I can change all of this. They, ver they have really struggled with self-worth, self-confidence, and, 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 and trusting themselves in their, in their inner knowing right? They went with karmic partners, you know, that were much in a lower vibration. They were low vibrational. They were karmic, right? Compared to the divine feminine. But that was, uh, you know, that was the easy route. That was the, you know, non-expansive, didn't have to grow, didn't have to change, comfortable route, right? Okay. They're like way out of the comfort zone. They are so ready for adventure, for, for change, for fun and all the things. Some of you guys could be painters or love to paint. Okay. Um, there's just a very creative aspect here. So maybe your person's very creative. Maybe you are, maybe they just actually, you know, see you guys because again, feminine, you know, the divine feminines that I'm speaking to, you guys have, uh, you know, interest in things. You guys are expansive energy. You know, you're abundant. You're all these things, right? So there's this inner knowing with, with you that there will be no like boredom. You know what I mean? Like they're bored in their lives. It's on, it's a groundhog day that they're living, right? We've all been there in karmic connections where it's, it's, it's the same, you know what, same beep, <laughs> same shit, different day. Okay. And it's just very, uh, icky to them, right? Where we at 34 minutes. Okay. But yes, they have gotten the call. They've connected to the higher self of go for it, go for it, you know? And with that kiss card, they're, they're, they're going for it. They're going for it. You know, I mean, you guys have to keep in mind that this is collective, right? So it's not going to mean it's for every single person, but for the majority of the energy tuning in and that will tune in through all space and time. I mean, yeah, it's happening. Look at that. You got the three of pentacles and four of swords, three and four is a seven. Seven is a very divine number. 
I was just talking about the sevens yesterday in, in a reading. Um, I don't know if it was a Scorpio read. I don't know who it was. I think it was. And how they like, it's a very divine, special number. Funny, I was just talking about that yesterday. And this morning, I hopped on a live with a, a sister. You guys can go check her out here on YouTube. She's on Instagram as well. But she is a divine priestess. And um, I love her. <laughs> She's just awesome. And her and her beloved soulmate, they create the most beautiful healing frequencies and sounds. But they like they have an Isis frequency, a Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Hathor, um, Sekhmet, uh, you know, stuff like that, right? Or they're creating a Sekhmet, I believe, or or I don't know, something like that. But anyway, she was live today, and yesterday I'm speaking in a in a reading of the sevens and how it's so, you know, it's such a it's a powerful spiritual number, right? So think of like, okay, there's seven days in a week, right? Seven notes in music, okay? Seven main chakras, seven different colors. The rainbow reflects the chakras, connects to the chakras, you know, so it's got the seven colors there, you know, just a lot of like things, right? Then I hop on the live this morning and this is how, you know, the beautiful universe operates. And I receive these types of very profound, uh, like my synchronicities, and my confirmations from the divine, okay? They have gotten so profound that it's like, it's mind blowing to me. You know, it's beyond like, you know, a confirmation of like 1111 or 333 or, you know, a special like a date or something, you know, that, you know, those used, I mean, those are beautiful and they're special, but the higher frequency that we rise and the more in tune that we get, you start receiving higher level confirmations because you're you're seeing things that you didn't see before, right? And, and you're picking up on things that you didn't pick up on before, right? You're tuned into everything, okay? And that's how it is. I step outside, I am in tune and connecting to everything. And I am receiving messages and channelings and connections and confirmations and, you know, everything from everything, right? Like the trees speak to me, the wind speaks to me, the birds speak to me. When the corn blows in the field, it speaks to me. Um, you know, it's everything. The way the water falls out of a, a, a fountain or something speaks to me. The way the water flows in the canal banks over here speak to me. You know, if I see a fish, it speaks to me. Everything speaks to me, you know? Um, those of you guys who are, you know, you're, you're vibrating at these very high frequencies, you'll know exactly, right? But yeah, I, 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 I couldn't, I was always in tune and connected and stuff to nature and all that, but I was not connecting in this regard. So why did I go off on that tangent though? Um, I forget. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff coming through connecting to it. Okay. So, um, I know that I was talking about, you know, like the, before I was talking about like the, the lower vibrational energy of the karmic and all that, but, um, and how the masculine's frequency has risen. I don't remember what I was saying right before this, but I do want to say that going back to them, they've been worried and struggling with, they've never, you know, this is their first time ever dealing with a person anyone that they actually feel intimidation like not intimidated like you know like you you scare them intimidated like I don't know how to approach such a powerful being you know person you know like I do but I don't you know like not to open up and you know like they hold you I mean they see the real you the soul you right and it's like yeah so I mean, it's, it's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a compliment because they, they see you, you know, it's not, I mean, I was a compliment, but it is, it's, they really see you. They get it. It's confirmation too. Okay. So in this message right here, what I'm receiving is the masculines are saying to you that they want to show you, see how he's presenting. They want to show you that they are doing the work, that they are healing, okay? Um, and also, it doesn't matter. Look at, see, as I pick up the deck too, there it is. 
confirmation, divine truth, Archangel Michael showing up too, right? A new beginning is on its way. There is a truth coming in to you, for you, from this person that is going to bring so much healing, right? And then you guys are both just going to like flow, okay? Because this person is coming in with the Ace of Swords and you can't use the Ace of Swords coming with the Ace of Swords unless you have reached some kind of level, you know what I mean? Because it is the throat chakra. It is authenticity. You know, you can't have a karmic connection with the Ace of Swords New Beginning. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not there. They are on their way. Look at that. Look at that. They're together in this. They're on their way with this truth they want to tell you. But they want to let you know, I am doing the work just because I'm silent just because I haven't reached out yet, it doesn't mean that I'm I'm not, you know? And they're sending you so many signals, so much communication through the ethers, telepathically, um, showing up in, 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 in the astral, right? When you guys are asleep, like all of that, you know? Um, because honestly, I'm seeing it. And feminines, you do not go in the astral and seek out your masculine when this happens, your masculine is seeking you through the astral, right? It's like that is what I get. But honestly, like in the astral right now, like you guys are so together, you know, like it's, you know, but they do, they come to you. So they're letting you know, again, I am working on it just because things are quiet, just because we haven't spoken, I haven't reached out. I'm, I'm showing you that I'm, I'm working on it. You know, I am, I'm working on it. You know, that's what I get. And clearly they are, there it is. Okay. They're creating endings because look, just circling back as I end this message, circling back They're they're creating the 10 of swords here in their life, or they already have for some, it's, they already have for some, they're doing this, like they're doing this. Okay. Okay. Because they're no longer blocked from the higher self. You see, I love it. I love it. See? And then boom, even proving it even further is the eight of wands. Here they come. Incoming messages, communication. Um, this is as above, so below. Again, confirmation of the union timeline, uh, timelines, and the fact that, you know, these, these beautiful wish fulfillments, um, communications, uh, partnership or unions, you know, all these things. They're coming in, integrating in into the 3D reality. You know why, you guys? Because these unions are needed right now in this time of earth. The amount of light and healing, okay, that a twin flame connection gives off. I mean, past life soulmates, evolved souls are very fucking powerful, right? Like, these are not competitive labels, right? Like, I don't want anyone to ever think that. Like, People, I have a misconception of, oh, if you're not a twin, then it's a less than, you know, type of soulmate. It's not. Twins are very powerful. Yes, indeed. But it's a different type of soulmate because they, they, they initially came from the same soul, okay? Split off into two, but that soul was a very, very <laughs> ascended soul. It would be like an ascended master, right? An ascended master splitting the soul into two and then it going into two separate beings, right? So that's that's the mirror, right? So anyways, you know, but a, a past life soulmate is very evolved and very powerful, you know? And sometimes both of you guys can be light workers. Sometimes, you know, maybe you're the light worker star seed and they're they're not, right? But you're gonna attract that which you are. So you're gonna attract another past life soulmate to you no matter what that's very high vibrational if that's who you are and a part of your path and where you're vibrating at. You know what I mean? So Anyways, just a little like, whoop. but they're coming in because look at the three of swords, because again, they want to end the separation. This is a card of separation. Okay. And then balance, restore harmony with their, with the love of their life, with, with their beloved, with their beloved counterpart. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the only major arcana that we have out here, which is Libra. They've been holding on to this message for a long time. I told you in the beginning, I was like, I, they, you know, they probably are going to tell you, you know, cause they're going to come in very, you know, 
they're going to be open. You're going to, this is a whole new like DM coming in, you know, they're going to come in like, you know, just, they know that they cannot come in with any type of holding back any type of, you know, hesitation with you. Like they, they know that this is it, you know, and it's not even like they know, like, oh, they know it's, they know because they're listening to their, they're connected to their soul. They're connecting to their soul. Just saw the world card on the bottom of the deck. I want to just give us a nice little shuffle. So anyways, my loves, this is like much longer than I anticipated, but that's okay because I channel tell the messages through, right? So, but I send love to all of you guys and I thank you for all of your love and support here on YouTube. Um, if you are new to the channel, because we just had um, quite a few new subscribers um, come through over the last uh, like 24 hours or so, you know. So anyways, welcome my loves if you are new here. Um, even if you aren't new here, you know, welcome in. You guys know how much <laughs> love I have for my tribe. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, you can find all the information down below in the description box. Um, there are a few, you know, choices and stuff to choose from. Um, and I think that's it. All right. So the woman just came out. The woman. Card number 29. We have the letter A. Okay, and then number eight, all right, which is the, the infinity symbol, right? As above, so below, okay? So you or the current, right? But this is you. This is about you. And then the beaver. The beaver is about new things on the horizon. Determined, repetition, making dreams real, okay? The beaver is a hard, hard worker. The beaver is like a master manifester. They literally shift ecosystems in rivers and stuff like that right like okay they are little busy bodies and um you know if you look up like a, a spiritual meaning of like the, the the beaver and stuff you know it is that it's about how you know you're being a visionary working hard manifesting reaching goals you know determination all that stuff right so this is the energy being reflected back to you from your DM now, okay? Because you guys have already been in this energy for yourself in your own life. You've been, you know, manifesting, making your dreams a reality. You've been, um, you know, working hard. You've been focused. You, you've showed determination, but you also, right, we're doing the whole healing and self-love and everything else, okay? They've seen a massive shift within you, a, a massive glow up. That's what happens when you are a divine feminine twin flame, okay? And even if you have your awakening, right? You you start just loving yourself. You start you're tuned in, you know, you're 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 healing the parts of self that are keeping you in separation with self, right? So they've seen all of this throughout this time, throughout this journey. They've never stopped watching you. Again, it doesn't matter if they've been in a partnership with someone, not with someone, dating around, stubborn, I don't know. But they always kept an eye on you. They always kept an eye on you, okay? Death cards, bottom of the deck. Major arcana, transformation and change. It's the garden. The garden speaks of a date. Okay, meeting up talking, you know, going out, being social, social events, right? This is them um, working on coming towards you, clearing all the cloudy energy out of their life. They want to clear the air with you. They want to remove any, you know, confusion. They want, they want you to know exactly what they feel um, about this connection, what they, you know, feel towards you. They want to clear the air. See, it's all about confusion, misunderstandings, indecision, doubts, hesitation, you know, all of that. They want to clear all this. They want to meet up. What did I say in the beginning? They want to, they want to see you. Okay. They may ask you to go somewhere with them, a social event. Um, you know, for some reason I keep hearing a wedding. So maybe like you guys, when you guys, you know, talk again and all that, maybe they have a wedding that they have to go to a friend or something. And they're like, do you want to be my date? 
would you be my date? You know, I would love for you to come with me. But I'm just, just that's an example, right? Like I'm also hearing a concert, you know, different things, but I feel that this person wants to spend time alone with you. I feel like they want to, it's like they want to maybe, you know, whisk you away for a weekend or, you know, they, they want to absorb you is what I get. They want to absorb every inch of you, every second they have with you. They don't want interruptions. They don't, you know, it's like that. Okay. That's just what they want. Okay. So this is the energy here. Now, for some reason, I'm being guided to split the deck in half. All right. I'm just going to split it in half. This is passion, chemistry, lust, happiness, excitement, holiday. The next holiday is Labor Day <laughs> here in the United States. You know, is it's Labor Day. Labor Day weekend is coming up. Okay, this could be around that. That's the next holiday. Um, you know, we're in Virgo season, maybe like a birthday or maybe there was like a specific passing date, like something that just recently happened or passed or is coming up where maybe they know it's an important date to you or, you know, I, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm getting all that. Celebration, kissing, exhilaration, explosive, hot sex. Interesting that you got kissing and then the kiss. And look at the coloring, it even matches. You see? I freaking love tarot <laughs> and oracle. I love divination. All right. The cat on the bottom of the deck here, it's about uh, the yarn. It's about like hassles and conundrums and all that. So it's like, it's showing here. Yeah, see, exactly. The devil, Capricorn. Right as I was going to say that. Um, so the major arcanas, we have. It doesn't matter, you guys, honestly, but we have the air signs out here. We've got earth, fire, but then, we, you know, for the majors, we have uh, Libra and Capricorn. Yeah, that's it. Okay. But what I was saying is that, you know, the hassles and the conundrum and like all tied up that energy of, of that card, it has to do with um, the karmic energies that they're dealing with on their side right now. And right as I was about to say that, literally, I didn't have a chance, the devil flew out. <laughs> so, you know, this is also about them, like, you know, with all this passion and like chemistry and everything, this is also about them watching you intently, not taking their eyes off you. You know, that just keeps coming through because it's just, it is, it is what it is, you know? Um, you know, but I'm going to keep saying what keeps coming through every time I read because, you know, you know, for, for the most part, a lot of you guys here, like you are here, you see the messages like, you know, that I post, but like I said, we have a lot of new read or a lot of new readers, a lot of new subscribers here, which I'm so happy to have you welcome in my loves. But you know, so yeah, so sorry if it's like a repeating message at times, but it's just because the energy doesn't lie. It's because it's true. It's because, you know, so if anything, it's just beautiful confirmation, you know, if it keeps coming through in messages. But yeah, they're definitely determined and there's a lot of discipline in um, in really standing their ground at this time with karmic partners um, because karmic partners are trying to really hold on to the divine masculines, um, you know, you know, for, you know, I don't want to speak like badly or anything, but like, you know, you know, we've all been there too, right? Remember? where they lack that self-love. They do not have um, self-respect and dignity and things like that in a lot of ways. So like they will cling to someone because they feel it's the best they can get, you know, in a lot of ways. Or yeah, it's it's that's what they feel. Like this is the best I can get, you know? Whether it's about money, looks, you know, stature, um, you know, in the community, I have no idea, but you know, for a lot of them, yeah, it's about material stuff. It's all about image, material stuff. It's not about the soul. It never was, never, never will be. So anyways, so they are taking the steps right now. We have the death card, right? I said that, that, that major transformation. There it is right there with the butterfly again. Card number 23, 23 or 32 could be relevant. You have 23 and 24 showing up together. The hummingbird. This is about being present. The masculines are present. They're no longer... A, now, I'm sure, right, they have moments, but when I say they're no longer, you know, they're not wondering, you know, and worrying and going into, like, you know, the past and, you know, feeling like, oh, gosh, you know, and, you know, and then going into the future and thinking, like, oh, gosh, what if they reject me, you know, and then the past, oh, God, I messed up, and then the future, oh, God, you know, what if it's too late, you know, they're being present, 
They're being present with you, with, the, with you, with this, with what they feel, with what they want to do in their life, the actions that they're taking with karma situations, like everything. Metamorphosis is happening. Time. It says time to be open. Embrace change. Evolution of the soul. Rising up. Inspiration. Reinvent yourself. Yeah, they, they're, ready, they're reinventing themselves. They're reinventing themselves. They're rewriting their stories. And the once upon a time, the beginning of their story, it's, it's with you. It's with you. And the hummingbird says a rapid response. Resilience, sweet goodness, lift out of negativity, lightness of being. They're lifting out of negativity. They want to feel light in their life. They're tapping into this hummingbird spirit energy, you know? So hummingbirds are going to be a synchronicity um, and butterflies for sure. And it's funny because today... Actually, today, I again, speaking of such like profound confirmations and signs from the universe, um, I was on my morning walk, and I was walking on a canal bank that like out here where, where I live, and where a lot of people like go for walks and you know stuff like that, or run and walk their dogs. Anyways, I happened to be the only person like out there this morning when I went, and I was listening to this twin flame video thing um, from this. And that's another thing that I'm receiving you guys out of nowhere. Like on YouTube, every time I come onto YouTube on my feed at like the top right there, there's people popping up that I've never seen. I'm not subscribed to never in my life seen that before one after the other They're you know, learn about the twin flame journey, twin flame, you know, celibacy and this and what it means. And you know, 12 signs of the twin flame journey and that you met your twin, twin flame. It's like twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. I like, right. This is how the universe operates, right? This is how spirit works, right? So I said, okay, I see you universe. You're telling me, you're telling me, you're confirming for me everything that I've said, right? So anyways, then I go walking on the canal, right? And lo and behold, I'm listening to one, one of these twin flame things because it actually happened to be pretty good. She was really spot on. It wasn't a reading. It was just more about how, like the signs and the things and, and you know, all of that. Um, and all of a sudden I look up and there's a huge uh, heron, blue heron flying like right in front of me. Huge. I mean, they're like as tall as me. They're huge. Then it like turns and when it turns and it's turning and it's kind of like turning to come kind of back towards my way a little bit, but to the side, the other one shows up. So as I'm listening to the twin flame thing, I get two blue herons flying and soaring in front of me. And then the one, so they kind of flew off over the field and stuff. And I just kept walking and watching and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much spirit. Right. At that point I turned off the video because then I just wanted to connect to anything that came through and, and all that. Um, and that's when I started receiving the thing about the blocks and the higher self and all that. But anyways, like a few moments later, the one comes back, right? And lands like right in front of me, like, like 15, 20 feet in front of me, this tall heron just standing there looking over at me, looking forward again, looking over at me again. And when I was just like videoing, like, oh my gosh. I put it on my Instagram story if you guys want to follow me, Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm the only Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. It's all one word, no numbers, no nothing. That is meta verified with a blue check mark. Okay, so make sure you follow that account, right? Um. Anyways, yeah. So it was just again these very profound moments, and I can't even tell you like how many of those I get like a day. How many I've gotten? Like it is blowing my mind, and again. The signs have always been there, right? But I was not connecting. But these these signs, these signs are because of what's happening, because of union timelines, because of my messages, because of my, my own journey in life, right? There's all this stuff going on. And this is how I receive from Mother Nature, from spirit, from the divine, that you're spot on, sister, right? And da da da, -da what you feel is right. And uh, anyways, and there's more, and like, I'm going blank right now, but... Anyways, yeah, so the blue heron. Oh, and then I looked at the blue heron, meaning, of course, right? What seeing one, and uh it speaks of like like elegance and grace, um, but it's also like transformation, extreme wealth, good fortune. But one of the biggest things that caught my eyes was messages. Okay, so it's about bringing messages, okay, they're messengers, right? 
but it's about messages, right? So I'm like, it's communication. They're, they're, they're showing me communication. Last night, I'm sitting on my front porch after my work day's over, right? And guess what? I had a V, a huge V-shaped flock of geese fly right in front over my house. A whole bunch of them, you know, honking and stuff. And I put that in my story. But, and the reason why that was significant is because the geese are, they're the love geese. They, they, they represent, uh, you know, soulmate, twin flame energy, you know, um, the one, you know, a deep soul connection, a pair of things, you know, all these things. But anyways, so I put that in my story, you know, because I said, I said, I haven't seen a, a, a geese formation because I mean, it's blazing saddles out here. It's blazing saddles. It's like triple digits still, you know, we had a few weird days of like the creepy weather, but then, you know, now it's like hot again. Right. Um, but I'm like, I haven't seen that since last winter. Like crazy, right? And then, it, you know, and then the next day I get two blue herons while I'm listening to a twin flame thing. Oh, and on that twin flame thing, the numbers, the, the, the likes or whatever, when I, when I liked it, it was like five, one, five, like my like made it 515 or something. So it was 11. And, you know, then of course the numbers are just insane. Those are like everywhere, nonstop, constantly all the time, right? Um, so leave some messages or comments down below, share with me some of your crazy signs, synchronicities from, from the divine, from your, from your twin, from your soulmate. Um, I would love to hear you guys because I just think it's so cool. I know a lot of the times in my readings, I give you guys signs and synchronicities. Okay. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Anyways, I love you guys so much. This was like a really long reading, but that's okay. It was a really good reading and, uh, yeah. So anyways. Namaste, my loves, and uh, just keep loving on yourselves, be in the flow. Again, like I said, do things that feel good. Tap our heart. We send love to the earth, to humanity. We tap our heart, and we send love to Maui, to everybody. We, we tap our heart, and we send love to the collective energies, to the divine masculine, to the karmics, to all. All right? And so it is.